Welcome everyone. This is Mallikarjun Rao. I am from Industrial Engineering and Operations Research Department of IIT Bombay. So I am going to teach this game theory course through this NPTEL. So game theory has become an increasingly important subject in the recent past. It has applications ranging from economics to biology to engineering and computer science and many other fields. When we think about games, the first thing that comes to our mind is the games that we have played as a kid. The games like tic-tac-toe, chess and many such games. These games are analyzed through what is now known as combinatorial games. Combinatorial games are those games where the players have a perfect information of the situations. They know what moves are available to the other player and vice versa. So the first part of this game theory course is about combinatorial games. These are also known as games of no chance. There is other aspect of game theory which is primarily developed by von Neumann which is culminated in a book called Games and Economic Behavior written together with economist Oscar Morgenstern. So the second part largely focuses on the game theory developed by these people. When there are two or more people in these games, they have to make their decisions in a simultaneous fashion. No one knows when the other, what the other guy is doing it and in such situations, the payoffs, understanding the behavior of their strategies is a important problem. So in second and third part, we discuss about these games and the second part mainly focuses on zero sum games, whereas the third part focuses on non-zero sum games. Zero sum game is a game where the payoff of one player is exactly the negative of the other players payoff. In non-zero sum games, the sum of the players payoffs need not be 0. Apart from this, there is another aspect of game theory which is known as a cooperative game theory. The main aspect of cooperative game theory is to choose their decisions in a collective fashion so that everyone is benefited. As an example, you can always think about dividing a set of resources among some people in a fair way. The final part is largely focused on this cooperative games. In this course, we derive all the results in game theory in a mathematically precise fashion. At some places, we may require the knowledge of some other deeper mathematical results. We may not prove those results, but we will provide an exact reference to those results. I hope this subject interests you all and I welcome you all to this NPTEL course on game theory.